My name is Nuno Bernardo. I'm the founder and the CEO of a Portuguese company called Be Active. And we are a 10 years old company and we've been developing and producing transmedia, television and feature films. I think the best ideas um, uh, to engage an audience are the ideas that are driven by characters because most of what people go to look uh, online, especially now with social media, with the Facebook, with Twitter, um, audiences go to connect with other people, go to connect with their friends, with the family, with, with, with people they know. And um, it's, it's, it's difficult to connect with abstract concepts. So what advice I usually give to people is think the transmedia project, make it as big as they want, but always think who will be the host will be the person that will guide the audience through the experience to the full universe. And usually it's the, the lead character or, the, or a group of, of lead characters that drive the audience to the full experience. I do a lot of presentations uh, around Europe and around the world about, about financing transmedia. Um, I, I usually say that the business model is the same as it always was. You have two, all, two and only two ways to, to monetize your content. You give it for free for an audience, a big audience, and then you can run ads and have sponsors and have product placement, other forms of advertising. So you give away content for an audience, and in return you get uh, advertisers money, or you have something that is compelling and you are able to sell to the audience, and the audience identifies value on, on your content, and identifies value in your experience and buys that content. Or you can mix both. So, uh, usually, at my company at Be Active, that's what we do. We, we, when we define a project, when we define a, a, a transmedia project, we define, okay, this content will be given away for free to an audience. That the goal of that content, the goal of that experience is to engage the maximum number of people around, create a community. So probably we'll not sell that content, we'll create uh, a community, offer content, offer experience. Uh, if the community is big enough, probably run some ads and get some sponsors on board. And then, down the line, probably start thinking about premium content that part of that community will be willing to pay a few cents, a few euros, a few pounds to, to buy or to consume. But of course, the tourist media, it's, it's, it's not just about online platforms. So in our mix, we usually also include traditional platforms and including traditional medias. We, we usually sell books around our properties and we, we, we get revenues from book licenses and book selling. We, we have television shows attached to our properties. We, now we are doing future films and, and selling tickets at, uh, in theaters. So it's the, I think the, the, the big uh, advantage of Thrust Media is that you're not just limited to one revenue source. You, you can combine the different revenue sources and can combine different ways to monetize your content. Well, I think it, the hope for, for everybody that is trying to, to start creating these more uh, cross-platform projects is that the audience has already changed. The audience are cross-media. The audi audiences are using different platforms to consume content. So I think that the audience will, 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 will lead this demand for different content, content that can, can, we can start watching on a mobile phone, on, on, on a tube journey to home, and then switch on the TV and pick at the same moment we left the story, um, engage on the, on the computer, engage on the, on the tablet. So I think that will be more a revolution imposed by the audience that will start to, to demand different types of stories and different times to distribute that stories.